Hey guys, so it's currently later at night and I look crazy, but I needed to film this video because I wanted to get this up rather quickly. I've been having a ton of loading issues. I've had some editing issues and I had to get rid of the whole video because it wouldn't go, like, I don't know what was going on with it. Anyway, I've had a lot of difficulty, so I'm really sorry about that. I'm trying my best. Uh, I'm going to try a little something different tonight. Um to get it up because I upload them at night while I'm asleep because I'm like the most impatient person and they take forever for me to upload. So yeah. So anyways, um, one of my subscribers and viewers requested that I would do a video um, on how to remove fake nails. So I thought I, I better get it up because I think she needs it right away. And uh, it's Dinah. Um, so... Thank you so much, Dinah, for requesting. Uh, but let's go ahead and get into how to remove your nails. Um, so I have a couple different things you can do. Um, the one I prefer over the other, but I'll tell you which one in a second. So first off, you're going to need some nail polish remover. Uh, you can use this. You can do 100% acetone. You can do like not 100% acetone, you know, all the different types of um, nail polish removers, you can use any of those, it doesn't matter, um, but the acetone works a lot faster, um, but it is very drying, so just keep that in mind, if it won't work well with you, then definitely just don't do that at all, uh, but they do have an acetone that has like nourishing in it, like nourishing properties in it, so if you want, check that one out, but I don't know if everywhere sells that because it was only like a Sally Beauty thing. So, anyways, any nail polish remover will work. And then for the first method, um, you can do, because all you're doing is you're just soaking off the nails. Um, you can, like, pry them off, but sometimes it hurts, it damages your nails anyway. So I just don't really recommend that. Now, sometimes they will fall off and you're like, okay, great, because, like, the glue's starting to wear down by the end of the week. Um, so that's another way that they will come off is if they just fall off, um, which you can just wait and let them fall off, but then you're going to look a little crazy with, like, you know, all your nails long and not one. So one of the methods is to fill up a bowl um, that will fit your hand pretty nicely, like this one might be a little bit too big, but I just wanted to get a bowl to show you, and fill it with your nail polish remover. And if you're going to do this, I recommend not using a bowl that you cook with, one that you don't even care about anymore, use that. Um, and you also want to use a plastic one, or I'm sorry, you also want to use a glass one uh, because some nail polish removers and most nail polish removers will like eat through some plastic ones and all of that. So just for your sake, just use a glass one. It's just going to be easier on your part. Um, and do one so you can get your fingertips in it. It does not have to be this big. And if it is this big, you know, only fill it up to like the little bit on the bottom. Um, and do not use the snail. If you do the bowl method, I don't recommend like keeping the nail polish remover that you just used because it's just for sanitary reasons. So definitely just dump it out. And I don't know if you can dump nail polish remover down the drain so maybe you just want to throw it outside uh which is probably even worse maybe i'm not sure but you know dispose of it properly i guess um but i never really use this way because it's just so i don't know like you can't really move your hand around you're like you have to keep it in this bowl so it's not very convenient the second way is the one that i like to do um, is just get some foil and any, like, aluminum foil and cut it into strips, um, big enough to, like, wrap around your, your whole finger. And what you're going to do is you're going to take a cotton ball or a cotton pad and you're going to saturate it, uh, with your nail polish remover. I'm not going to do it right now, but, you know, you would saturate it with your nail polish remover, like that. And then what you're going to do is you're going to press it onto your nail. And you want to saturate this pretty well. You want it to be kind of soaking, uh, soaking wet. And then take your foil strip and wrap it around your whole finger. You want to make it like big enough so that, well, big enough so it will go around the cotton and your finger and still be secure. 
um, you want to do pretty big strips. Like you would think, oh, I don't really need that big a strip, but if, especially if you're using cotton balls, if you're using like a flat cotton pad, then you don't need it as the big of one. But um, foil works the best. Like you can't really use anything else because, like I said, nail polish remover it just eats through things, um, and it does not eat through foil. So those are the best methods, and then it's just going to get really, really soft, and you'll be able to just pick at it, and it will just kind of slide off sometimes. Um, and then sometimes you might need an orange stick to pick at it and all of that. Um, but either of the processes, I would definitely recommend after doing so, apply some lotion and some cuticle oil. Let's see here. I have this one. I have a bunch. But just any cuticle oil that's your favorite. This one's from Sally's. I'm not sure if everybody can get this. Uh, I don't really think they have a Sally's in the UK. Um, but any uh, cuticle oil, your favorite cuticle oil, apply that. Uh, even if you don't have cuticle oil, like if you have Vaseline or like a lip balm that you don't use anymore, like um, like a chapped lip balm, you know, that, that type of thing, you can apply that around your cuticles and that works just as well. Um, but... You want to keep, especially if you use 100% acetone, but really any nail polish remover because it will dry out your skin a little bit. Uh, you just really want to moisturize your skin. So do the cuticle oil, do the lotion, um, and you should be good to go. I hope that helps you, um, and I'm glad that I helped you put on those fake nails. I'm so glad that you're wearing them. Uh, I really need to get me some because mine, oh my gosh, remember when they were growing out and now they broke? So I was trying, I don't know. But anyways, this video has been long enough, so I hope that helped you. If it did, please let me know if you used any of my tips in the comments. Give this video a thumbs up, share it with your friends, subscribe if you're not subscribed, and I will see you guys later. Bye!